Hello everyone. Uh, I would like to thank uh, team BSS Con, Dr. Srivastava sir, uh, Dr. Shitish Chaudhary and Dr. Deera Sonone for this wonderful opportunity. And today I'm going to talk about pedicle screw insertion in rotated vertebra. Uh, we all know uh, the evolution of pedicle screws and uh, the usefulness in improving the coronal, sagittal and rotational uh, uh, deformity. And important things in uh, apical region is always you have to be careful about the dysplastic pedicles, uh, absent pedicles, sclerotic pedicles, and you have to be careful about uh, the uh, uh, concerns of viscera, the uh, uh, greater vessels, as well as the medial wall and the spinal cord. The uh, difficult thoracic pedicles, normally D3, D4 on concave side, as mentioned by this article, and they always talk about thin uh, or uh, dysplastic pedicles on concavity in uh, deformities. And again, this paper is talking about pedicle width, width is significantly smaller in concavity of moderate to severe thoracic curves. Uh, and uh, what was the advice? The usefulness of pedicle screw in uh, concavity. You have to be very, very careful and uh, um, you have to understand the anatomy well before you insert the screw. Uh, this is a technique by Kota Watanbe and we know the channel technique. Uh, a large channel type A, uh, a smaller ch uh, uh, cancellous channel type B, uh, the cortical channel type C where we need to tap in case there is a sclerosis and type D is absent or slit uh, channel. And this is endorsed by the Italian uh, surgeons. Various techniques can be like uh, what we routinely use is freehand, the ball tip, uh, ball tip technique, the funnel technique, image guided, the uh, C, uh, C arm as well as O arm guided, and the newer technique which are coming up with 3D recon as well as the electronic guided devices. Uh, this is the most important uh, image for all of us. The uh, entry point, the sagittal trajectory and the axial trajectory in uh, deformities. Yeah, uh, we always understand that the uh, superior articulating process uh, and the transverse process junction is our entry point for the thoracic screws. Uh, at times, we need to take out the uh, superior articular process by doing osteotomy so that we can get a clearance for entering inside. Gear shift technique is very, very useful outward and inward. Um, and the trajectories are orthogonal to the sagittal curvature. Uh, the uh, top two vertebrae, T1 and T2, the axial trajectories are uh, 10 degrees more, which is 30. Um, and in T3 to T12, it is 20 degrees, um, the, the uh, convergence. The uh, gear shift probing, always uh, useful in freehand because that gives us uh, a safety towards the cord when we enter, we cross the pedicle, and once we cross the canal, then we can turn it around towards the vertebral body as the D-shape of a vertebral contour, and you can go more convergence. Therefore, this gear shift probe is very, very useful. Uh, preparation, we have to always do all the pro uh, appropriate X-rays, uh, the CT scan and MRI scan to understand the viscera, understand the vessels and the anatomy of pedicle. Always uh, check. The exact pedicle, we always measure the length of the pedicle, the diameter of the pedicle, and we mount it uh, on our operation theater table. Uh, this is the bone model which uh, talks about. Yeah, normally uh, this is uh, where we will be considering our pedicle entry, but in severely deformed uh, thoracic or thoracolumbar spine, you have to understand that. Uh, the concavity will be facing downwards and the convexity will be facing upwards. Here, the chances of pedicle, which can be type C or type D in concavity of what I'm classification are very high. When you are trying to use uh, your Lenke probe, you have to always understand the gear stick so that you enter very slowly, gently identify the lateral wall and then shift your uh, gear shift uh, and go more uh, converge to the vertebral body and just go with the feel very slow. Maybe there is a possibility of you breaching the pedicle and going again into the vertebral body. Always ask your assistants to give a counter when you are uh, putting the apical screw. There are chances you may hit to the uh, thoracic vessels or you can go into the cord. You have to be very, very careful.
and if you see uh, this the uh, uh, trajectory this is the perpendicular to the floor and uh, we are doing the apical screw in this uh, spine symposium of uh, deformed uh, rotated uh, vertebra and if you see the angle uh, if you see the rotation where i am almost parallel to the ground and i am putting this vertebral screw and, and this is how the directions can be uh, uh, we have to have that three dimensional judgment of this uh, concave uh, rotated vertebra in deformities um, always uh, keep it in mind in case you uh, uh, get out of the vertebral body there are chances of you hitting the greater vessels always keep it in mind and uh, the ball tip uh, technique is very very useful and it keeps you very very safe you would always feel with the ball tip and the flexible uh, shaft also helps so you feel that give way the soft tissue and then you have to go, go back check it uh, in x rays will be of less uh, use because you uh, the chances of you getting uh, uh, a wrong image or a difficult image can be very high um, and the limitations are very very narrow pedicle less uh, cortical uh, 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 vertebrae and uh, the funnel technique again uh, we use the uh, probe and uh, use uh, the entry point burr it and then use the uh, carison rounder to make it a funnel and you go and enter you go very very slow uh, at this uh, thoracic uh, vertebrae and they can be useful uh, image guidance is uh, important at times and uh, at times it can give you a wrong uh, judgment also it's a it's a judgment of uh, your clinical acumen as well as the uh, image guidance in rotated vertebrae uh, oarm navigation is definitely a big support uh, these days with a very high chance of accuracy as we have seen a uh, big amount of uh, rotations uh, can be very safely dealt with oarm navigation and even our personal experience is very good in uh, oarm navigated pedicle screws in deformities just a case uh, double major uh, curve this is type 3c lenky and uh, uh, we see 78 degrees cob and uh, 56 degrees uh, lumbar curve if you plan it well there are very good chances that you can uh, go uh, in the apical vertebrae very well and this is the clinical picture at times it can be uh, very scary but uh, when you do a good release you can really put very good uh, uh, screws you can do a, a free hand technique and uh, if need be you can always check in c arm uh, just in case you are in doubt uh, we really got very good correction around 70 80 percent of the uh, pedicle screw density and uh, uh, a very good deformity correction oarm always helps uh, as we see and in deformed pedicles we can go very slow and carefully yeah and uh, uh, nowadays we can have exact uh, with the oarm navigation and when we see these patients are very very happy uh, with good correction uh, 3d recon we can definitely use nowadays the bone models uh, and exactly a very cost effective uh, way of doing it uh, which is uh, been done in south america a lot and pedigard is again a important uh, a screw placement a safety screw play, a placement device which is come into the market uh, salvage we can change the trajectory pedicle dilatation larger diameters uh, image guidance laminotomy if required I think it's it's again uh, um, a very important thing in case you burst a pedicle. You can always leave that body and you can go to the next level in case you are not getting a good trajectory. Thank you very much.